After months of violent conflict, peace may be on the horizon in eastern Ukraine. Following a marathon 16 hour session that included the participation of French President Francois Hollande, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Russian President Vladimir Putin, an important breakthrough in peace negotiations has finally been reached. Both Ukrainian authorities and rebel forces agreed to a new ceasefire to take effect on February 15th. Overall, I can say that what we have achieved gives us a lot more hope than if we had not achieved anything. That's why it can be said that this initiative was worth it. Towards the end, President Putin also put pressure on the separatists so that they agreed for a ceasefire from midnight Saturday. I am under no illusion, and we are under no illusion, that a lot of work is still necessary, but there is a real chance to improve things. Germany and France, France and Germany, together show that we have made a contribution in accordance with Europe. It wasn't the best night of my life, but the morning, in my opinion, is a good one, because despite all the complexity of the negotiating process, we still managed to agree on the main points. Taking a look now at some of those main points we heard him talking about. Both Ukrainian forces and the rebels will remove heavy weaponry from the front lines and create a 50-kilometer security buffer zone. They also agreed on allowing humanitarian aid to enter the eastern regions of Donetsk and Lugansk while an, a while an amnesty is to be granted to those people involved in the violence in those regions. The document calls for the approval of a self-governance law for Donetsk and Lugansk while remaining part of Ukraine. The disarmament of rebel forces will take place following local elections and according to officials, a new Ukrainian constitution should be drafted by the end of 2015.